What's going on guys, Tactical Bacon here and welcome to another product review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is not the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is a Bliss. It's basically a cheap knockoff of the Joby Gorilla Pod and it is what I got um, maybe about a month or two ago and I was always satisfied with what I was able to get out of this. Um, but I was always curious as to why people would spend upwards of like 60 to 120 dollars for the for the higher end model of the Joby Gorilla Pod, and I was curious, so I decided to go ahead and purchase the Joby Gorilla Pod, which is what my camera is standing on now. So let's go ahead and get into the video. We'll do a quick unboxing of the Joby Gorilla Pod. I mean, it's really not too much to unbox. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how this compares to the Gorilla Pod. And like I said, there will be links to this product and the Joby Gorilla Pod that was around, I think it was about $60 US. So if you're interested in either one of these, check out the description box. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get right into the comparison. What you are looking at now is the Bliss M-Size Octopus style portable flexible tripod stand holder for iPhone D I'm not even going to read the entire title. You can read it all on Amazon. Uh, find that link in the description box below. But this is what I started off with. It was a cheap alternative to the Gorilla Pods. It was uh, $12.49 on Amazon. And for what it is, it's pretty good. But I got to admit, it's only really good for point and shoot and obviously cell phones you have to buy a separate mount for the cell phone however so this is my unboxing of a few things I got off of Amazon first is a uh, card reader an SD card reader obviously this is not something I purchased this is just something I like to do with all of the bubble wrap and everything is just stand there like an asshole and pop it and then here we have the gorilla pod now this thing was about i think 59 i mean it basically came out to 60 dollars us on amazon once again the link is in the description box and i really tried to stay away from buying this thing because of the price and because of the fact that i already had something similar I wasn't really sure what the big difference was, but there are a few pretty big differences. Uh, just getting it right out of the box, I decided to go ahead and do a size comparison. I tried to straighten out the legs on both of them as best I could, but there you see the size comparison. The Joby is a little bit taller uh, by a few inches. I wouldn't say it's a great deal longer than what you can get for $12.50. Um, but it does feel a little bit sturdier to me. Uh, the one that you can get for $12.50 on Amazon, the knockoff, is not all that great. Uh, also, you can see that the Joby will do this 90 degree tilt to the sides and the 1250 can only tilt about that far um but i mean with something like this where you can adjust the legs you really don't need to worry about the tilting of it but like i was saying the material that the joby is made out of is a lot stronger and it's a lot more solid i feel a lot more comfortable putting a dslr or a heavier camera on the joby than i do the one for twelve dollars and fifty cent now something i wanted to mention really quickly is is that you can unscrew that little ball head thing if you want to and just use the tripod you can screw your camera right into the top of it there you see the uh, the pen mount or the pen adapter and when you do it like this they're about the same size the 1250 one is a little bit taller if you take the ball mount off um, quick weight comparison the Joby is a lot heavier so I don't know what do you guys think personally I like this Joby Gorilla Pod I think it's all right for DSLRs this one however uh, it's good for like you know little cameras 